What is up? What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been too long. Let's go racing. Hi, right, guys. So, having a little in a while, I'm back. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. If you've been here for a while, God, I love you. So, what we're doing is uh, we're taking our big turbo 74 Plymouth Duster, 500 cubic inch. Um, needs needs body work. We're getting it ready, and we're going testing tonight. So, the reason I haven't uploaded is because we have been busting tail on this beautiful piece of machinery. That's not so beautiful, but it's beautiful. And uh, yeah, we're at a point where we're testing. So we went last night, not gonna lie to you guys, went out to the track and uh, yeah, we didn't make any hits, but we just drove it and got onto it and uh, feels good. Looks good, feels good. Tunes coming around, tuning it in. So tonight we're gonna go make some wastegate passes. Wastegate's a little higher than what I thought it'd be. It's about 10 pounds. So we're hoping we're hoping it runs pretty good. Um, Converter is a little loose because it's set up for like a backside or a street stuff, but we're not worried about that. We're we're gonna do we're gonna go out there. It's a prep track. This is no prep car, but we haven't launched the car. We don't know if it's gonna go straight, if it's gonna go left, if it's gonna go right. Pretty sure it's gonna drive straight because last night it was driving straight, but nonetheless, uh, we did have some issues. Uh, I forgot to turn on the water pump next to the last pass and uh, kind of airlocked it radiator set up in the rear so we had to jack the rear end today all the way up and bleed the you know the the Mazira water pump it's got a bleeder uh, screw on the side of it take that out let all the water flow good to go so that's fixed um, cutting into our tires now it's not a huge deal this one ain't too bad but we didn't have a lot of clearance before, so we sacrificed our uh, copper mallet uh, handle, and uh, we got oh tons of room now. This side's this side's pretty good. Over here is where we was cutting into a bad yesterday. As you can see, yeah. But have no fear, we can still get up in there. Um, these typically. Um, when you're at this kind of power level, you get about 20 hits on these tires and then they're gone. So, not too, too worried about it. Um, I am going to make a few rear end adjustments. I think the rear end needs to go over on the locator bar, probably one turn. And then we need to lengthen the driver's side bar, probably two turns. And then we're going to load it back up in the box. And we're going to hit the track and see what it does. So, with that being said, I'll catch you at the track. So we're just tuning the car and that was the first pass and I had to let out about 500 foot uh, the car started breaking up but uh, clean that up and we'll try it again still on wastegate brown pass two coming up
All right, so second pass, we didn't get any kind of data other than ET. And like I said, we're just cleaning up the fuel table. We ain't doing nothing. So we picked up two tents, just cleaning up fuel. It's still breaking up a little bit. So taking some out of it and uh, try again. from my dang stereo but uh that's that's gonna be a wrap and i'm super excited um car just it went 650s uh made i think what four passes on it we tried to throw boost at it the last pass uh the graph i was shifting at 6000 uh we tried to go up higher but it's got nine plugs in it and it's it's i think it's really wanting a seven um so it like it's struggling to make RPM. Uh, sorry, it's really bumpy. It's struggling to make RPM up at the top. Uh, first gear, we tried to go up to 6,400. It, it wouldn't do it. Uh, so I was like, all right, well, let's just throw. You know, we try to throw two to three more pounds on it, and uh, it it didn't it didn't work. Uh, it, it didn't make any boost, any extra boost uh, than the uh, the nine pounds that the springs make. So uh, I got to figure out what's going on with that. It, I'm thinking I didn't have I didn't have the air tank filled because uh, it's got an onboard air and the tank's got to be full uh, for the regulator to read 65 pounds to send to the boost controller. So. Uh, either that, no, that's, that's gotta be it. So, uh, yeah, but it went 650s at 105 miles an hour, uh, dropping about 2000 RPM on the shift. Converter's really loose for that power level because it was built to, you know, make good power. So, um, changed the plugs, a few other things, and, uh, we're going to go try again. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.